Okay, so for fishing, um, what you want to use during the summertime, we have lots of uh, flounder. So you want to use something like this. Uh, and you want to put shiners on there or some blood worms. You can catch the shiners. You can buy them. You can buy dead ones. And you basically just want to cast it out and then reel it in slowly. Um, there's more sand out there. If you're trying to go for um, rockfish or um, we catch a dogfish shark, skates, um, uh, some bluefish, just need some bigger hooks, about the size of those uh, fluke hooks. Uh, and that you just want to use a uh, finger mullet, frozen finger mullet. If you catch any live spot over here, live line the spot or um, just cut up bunker, cast it out as far as you can. Um, as far as the flounder, we've caught flounder right along here. Usually 13 to 16 inches here, cast it a little further and you'll get more in the uh, 16 to 18 inch range. Um, bluefish, man, we've caught bluefish up to 28 inches over here. Um, for the smaller stuff, you wanna use a small hook like this and blood worms or night crawlers or you can catch the minnows or shiners and just use them all along here is great probably over there is the best there's some rocks and stuff there so you just want to be careful not to get snagged the water's 13 feet deep so um, some good fish down there we catch lots of uh, uh, sea robin sea bass silver perch uh, spot and at nighttime, so I have a, a solar light right here, which attracts all the minnows. And this is great nighttime fishing, really fun, especially with the kids, or if you just want to sit out here and relax, you'll catch a fish probably every five minutes. Um, Taw tog, not as much luck with, but if you use a sand flea, uh, cast it way out there. There's a, a hole, a fishing hole out there, but you got to cast out pretty far. But anyway, pretty much every time we come, we, we catch fish, so it's a great spot. You'll see some of the fishing boats will come right up to the house here. Good luck.